Okay, the the restoration retouching project started to look pretty nice. And if you consider what was originally, if you turn off, actually turn off on the, on the layers palette here, let's turn off the visibility on these three layers and click this on and off. You can see there's some significant changes and this doesn't even include the fact that you replaced the eyes already earlier. So um, looking real good at this point. Now the next step we want to do is see if we can do something with this torn area of the dress right here. That doesn't look too good and it's torn right there and uh, we'll see what we can get accomplished with that. So that would be this area right here. Let's minimize this again get it out of our way. <clears throat> and I'm going to again start with a new layer. And as I'm doing this I can, uh, I'm going to name this dress. Okay, the problem I was having earlier with trying to save my PSD is I was saving my files to a Google Drive folder on my computer and it syncs automatically as I save something to it. And the fact that the PSD files are fairly big, it takes them a long time to sync, and it was not syncing them correctly. And so I moved everything to a different folder now. It should work a lot better going forward here. So to um, fix this, actually it's not that dis as difficult as it might seem. You've got an area right here that's good, that's reasonably good. In fact, one way to do this is you could simply, well, let's do it the easier way. I'm going to take my lasso tool again. I'll set my feathering this time to about 5. I do want to have a soft edge, but maybe not quite as soft as a 7. And I'm going to, I've got a good area right around here. This is pretty good shape right here. So let's go and make a selection here once and just go around like this. Make a selection up into here, kind of like that and about this big and back to here which is kind of the same size as this right here. Now I may pick up a few things that I don't want but we'll see what happens here. So that was a new selection. I'm going to move the selection over here and I'm going to now if you look at this and look at what I'm doing it was here. What's missing up here? This is missing up here. It, there, there's probably some of that pink up there so let's just go over here and go about to there once. And I'm going to go about to there. And let's um, control C to copy it. I'm going to control V to paste it. It's on a new layer right here. So move your move tool and move that over about here. And we left out a little bit that this little bit of red area here actually corresponds to that. It doesn't look too bad at all. And you've got a pretty good continuation of the texture here. Okay, so not too bad. Let's look at what can be done here. Now, if you look at this side here, this is all nice and even here. Here is, must be something torn there. So let's do the same thing here. Let me zoom out a little bit here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to go on this layer again, the dress layer this time. I'm going to make my same selection with the lasso tool. I'm going to go from about here maybe to about here <coughs> to about there move that over here and capture something about here all right about there let's try and capture that control c control v it's on this layer here let's move it over here and Okay, actually not looking too bad. And if anything, this up here looks as though it shouldn't have pink. I wonder if we were to take on this layer here, let's try, let's do this. Let's duplicate this layer. I'm going to work on the duplicate copy. Take the eraser, low opacity, 25% opacity. Let's just erase part of that. And so just by erasing that, coming some of the bottom colors through. And that works okay. Um, let's actually get rid of this layer here. And that helped a lot. I've got 
No, it's it's not going to be. Let's do this. Let's merge down. Let's merge these two down. So I'm going to do. I'm on the top layer. Do Control E to merge down, and one more time down into my dress layer. Now, is it going to be perfect? Probably not. You could do a little tweaking here if you wanted to play around a few more things, but this is a vast improvement over what you had before. Okay, if you look at this compared to this, much much improved, and I think uh, very well done and very workable with that. So, with that done, we're going to save this now, file save, as a PSD, it was a PSD, so that saves better now than I'm not working on Google Drive, and that was my problem before. So that's it for doing that part of the dress.